Yo, 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 what's good, everybody, and welcome back to the beatmajors.net. So, as I keep saying, as I always say, yo, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now before you watch this video and hit that bell right after it so you don't miss any more tutorials whatsoever. Now, since we got that out the way, let's go ahead and get into it. So today we're going to talk about the underwater effect or the, the Mike Will effect or the uh, the Drake, I guess, effect. Um, a lot of people, it's kind of, it's kind of just something. It's kind of like a, a high pass sweep. You know, you're just cutting out the higher frequencies and leaving in uh, a little bit of the lows and some of the mids. Um, if you hear it in like, you, you might, you hear it on a lot of uh, like the samples that like Bryson Tiller uses. Um, you hear it on a lot of the, uh, um, a lot of Mike Will beats, uh, early Drake stuff. They used to do that this this same effect here. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys what this effect does uh and how it sounds and then how you can apply it or how you apply it to your beats so let me show you really quick what the effect is and how it works so let's get into it So that's basically if the effect right there. Um, that's essentially what it is. But as you could hear, it's oscillating and it's opening back up from you know the lower frequencies and coming back into the the higher frequencies, so that you get the the effect of the best of both worlds, basically. So I'm going to show you how to achieve that. I have two different ways that I that I do it. Um, there's you know the preset way in FL, which is through here the Fruity Love filter, and that preset is called the uh simple triangle low pass lfo essentially it's, it's just a filter um and it's just uh just it's a low pass filter it's going through uh the you know the between like i said between the low and the high um that's one way to do it the other way you can do it is by applying an eq um and with the eq you're just basically just going to cut out the uh you're gonna cut out the higher frequencies, and then you're gonna um, just basically do a sweep from the from the uh, the the low back into you know the mid high or you know wherever you really want to do it. Um, and you can do that by automating it. Um, there's that's there's multiple different ways to do it. So I'm gonna show you with the EQ really quick how to achieve that effect. So with the if you're an FL, there's the fruity parametric EQ, and you can do this with any EQ. It doesn't really matter. This is just the the one right in front of my face that I could pull up really quick. And then you just turn turn your band type here to a uh, low pass. And you'd reset the, uh, <clears throat> the width of the band, which is band seven that we're using. And then we're gonna change the band order to a steep um, eight right here. So it's a steep uh, low, it's a steep uh, low pass basically. So you essentially start off like like I just did it. I changed the band to a, a low pass. I reset the band width so that it you know is right at the tip here, and then I uh, you know you control your. This is how you open and close the band. So basically, you're closing it down to the the low, opening it back up. Let's 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 let me let me show you what I'm what I'm talking about here. So essentially it's the same thing and this time i'm doing it without i'm doing it by myself I'm, I'm just automating that on my own now how do you get that to do it you know throughout the whole track or throughout whatever section you want you're going to have to create an automation clip if you don't know how to create an automation clip there are videos out there um for you to learn how to create automation automation clips and make them work with that with this particular uh effect here so those are two different ways that you can do it um, and apply it to your beat. Um, like I said, this is just that's just how you apply the effect. I will go into make another video just going deeper into how to apply it and actually make it work for a specific section or for a specific spot in your beat. So as usual, until next time, hope you guys uh, like this video. 
Um, I hope this, you know, brings value to your music production. That's really all we want to do here with our channel is bring you guys as much value and help you guys learn from the basics to the most advanced uh, tips and tricks as far as bettering your music production. So definitely hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, hit that bell, like I said, so you don't miss any more tutorials. And until next time, guys, peace.